All right, keep it going. Welcome your next comic, Daryl Middleton. How are we all doing tonight? Thanks for coming out. Uh, I am a, a valley boy. You guys know what that means? Uh, uh, we like uh, sushi, like valley girls. They like sushi. Well, uh, they like theirs out of trendy restaurants, probably. We'll take ours out of a gas station. <laughs> yeah, sure. Valley girls also have nice shoes. Uh, we have nice shoes. Um, We'll, uh, like, mine have steel toes for safety when I'm breaking into uh, the tow truck yard to uh, get my impounded vehicle back. <laughs> and here I am. I do uh, uh, boxing announcing for BC Amateur Boxing. Um, I'll do an, uh, uh, one up for you. It's a former Olympian. He hails from Mount Kisco, New York, but now she resides in Malibu, California, Caitlin x Man uh, She's pretty uh, shaky at the decathlon nowadays, but you should see her box. <laughs> Okay, that's not what I meant. Um, I uh, went to the gym myself to get myself into better shape, and uh, coach there suggested skipping. So I haven't been back since. But I uh, heard Saturday night's all right for fighting, so I thought I'd get myself a ninja name uh, off Facebook. Uh, I got you, Lacey Bum. <laughs> I went, I hate going to the dentist. I had to go to the uh, dentist a while ago to get a uh, tooth extracted. Uh, nowadays they use fentanyl to put you out. So yeah, they put me out and uh, pulled the tooth out. I survived. So I guess I'm a fentanyl success story. Um, Kate Middleton has been in the uh, city, uh, no relation to me. Um, visiting we uh like what do they call her I uh, hear your grace your majesty uh, uh, the duchess of Cambridge uh, I like it when they say that she's abroad <laughs> so I uh we loaded up uh, over the summer loaded up the vehicle with the uh Valley grandkids, and we went to the PNE. They, uh, we uh, fought through uh, two hours of solid congested traffic from Mission, that valley, and uh, <laughs> went through the two hours of solid traffic and then spent $45 so they could go on the bumper cars. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> My uh, brother recently paid uh, $85,000 for a horse. Uh, yeah, it's got uh, questionable bloodlines. It's not very well-mannered. Uh, has a big dick. Uh, so they named him Kanye. Uh, so the place where I work, I drive forklift there, and uh, this thing is from 1978, just hurt. It uh, is so old, when I pull the lever to lift something up, a lot of times it just forgets. <laughs> the uh, mechanic says there's a lot of hardened hoses, lines with blockages, and he says he thinks it needs a new head, but I don't know. I think it's got alternator disease. <laughs> so I, I started playing in a dance when I was 12 years old back in 1973. 
we uh, had always get off school, go over to Miss Petrie's place for extra credits, and then off to band practice. Every day off to band practice. <laughs> she had these big nipple rings, and I always wondered where she got those from back then. All right, I uh, met up with her again, uh, and uh, uh, yeah. I'm not one to kiss and tell or anything, but uh, it's just us here. So. Let me tell you about it. The nastiest mid I ever saw. It made my jaw drop straight to the ground. When I smelled that shit, it was really profound. It smelled like something was rotten in the ground. Just like that dirty old fish grew my pot plants in with some secret marijuana fertilizer or something from a sewage treatment plant. But I didn't give a fuck a fucker anyways. It must be old pussy. It ain't right that it smells like that. It must be old pussy. Or did I forget to take out the trash? It must be old pussy. It ain't right that it smells like that. It must be old pussy. A murderer crows wouldn't even pick at that. Thank you.